Welcome to my Kuka Melon Cave. And I'm gonna show you how we've been growing our Kuka Melons to create this really pretty trellis. On this cattle panel trellis, I transplanted nine Kuka Melon um, plants that I started from seed in the spring. I transplanted them probably mid-May and it is the end of August now. And in the three months, it basically turned into what you can see here. Um, really just a beautiful trellis and really full of kooka melons. Um, kooka melons are also called mouse melons or Mexican sour gherkins. They're little tiny, kind of like cucumbers. Um, they taste like cucumbers, um, but they have a little bit of a lemony zing to them. They got a lot of crunch and they're really, really good. Um, if you like cucumbers, you'll, you'll like the kooka melons too. In those three months, all of my kooka melon plants have climbed all the way up and around the trellis. Um, basically, it's turned into a bit of a jungle, but it's still pretty easy for me to pick the kooka melons and find them. The hardest thing though, um, and one thing to remember with your trellises, is they're going to be up pretty high and trying to get to the kooka melons on top of the trellis requires a step stool or a ladder. That I did not think of. Um, so that's just something to keep, keep in mind if you have your kooka melons trellising. Um, think of them kind of like a cucumber. They're going to put out lots of vines and they're going to grow up and out and all over. So as they're growing, just train the vines to keep going up in whatever direction you want them to go. Um, basically up until a month ago, I did just that and then it just got wild. So I kind of had to let it do its thing. And I'd say it's actually prettier than what I would have imagined because it kind of covered up the whole trellis. It gives me a place of shade when it's super hot up in the garden. So I can kind of come in here have a drink of water and it's not blasted hot in here. The kooka melons, like I said, are just like little cucumbers, but they almost look like little itsy bitsy watermelons. Um, taste just like a cucumber, but with that lemony um, taste. They're really crunchy. They're really good in salads and you can pickle them just like regular cucumbers. I use the same pickling solution that I use for my regular pickling cucumbers, you know, just your vinegar, water, mustard seed, peppercorns, sugar, salt, garlic, onion. Oh, and dill, the dill too. Don't forget the dill. I do the same thing and then I just fill my jar with the kooka melons and they taste really, really good. So um, there's lots of things you can do with them. I mean, they're not as easy as picking cucumbers. Cucumbers, of course, are bigger and probably a lot less tedious than having to pick these little things. But, um, you know, you get a lot of them. They're tasty as something different. And I know our kids really like to eat them with their lunches and stuff. So I think there's a huge advantage to growing them along with your cucumbers. goes. She's climbing. Come on. Can you stick back? All right, so we just finished harvesting uh, the kooka melons and we got probably about a quart of kooka melons. Um, typically we pick them every other day. Um, you can pick them kind of when they're full size, which is like this or I even pick them um, when they're a little bit smaller like this. Um, it's very easy to start getting massive ones um, because they do hide and you know you miss one or two when you pick every other day um, but they still taste really good um, and if you end up with one that's even bigger and more far along you could even save the seeds um, which is what I did last year. The plants that I started were from saved seed 
cuckoo melons, you do need to be on top of picking them. Um, if too many of the fruit are left on the vine to fully mature, that vine will stop producing flowers and therefore stop producing cuckoo melons. So just make sure to get out every other day or so, pick them so that you continually get to harvest uh, more and more cuckoo melons. As far as like care of the plant, they're you know pretty easy, honestly. We do have an irrigation system set up where um, two of the irrigation strips run straight over and every night around one o'clock in the morning, the irrigation system turns on for an hour. And so that does keep the soil here evenly moist. So I don't ever have to water them. Um, but uh, as far as fertilizer goes, I think I've done a little bit of fish fertilizer, a little bit of like organic um, granular fertilizer, just kind of put into the, the soil. Um, other than that, I haven't done anything else. And it, you know, basically the plant took care of itself and did its thing and is given us at least a quart of cuckoo melons every other day. That pretty much sums it up about our little cuckoo melon cave we have going on here. Um, if you have any other questions about cuckoo melons, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and my cuckoo melons. Time says hello. <laughs> Goodbye.